Hello everyone, this is Cosplay Cat Lover from Twitter, Kitty Angel from Cosplay.com, and Neko Indra from YouTube. Okay, I normally do not do serious, um, I don't do any serious videos or anything serious situations or whatever. But, unfortunately this does have to be addressed within each and every community, whether it be anime community, the sci-fi, the video game, the furry, the My Little Pony, excuse me, um, it needs to be addressed. I mean, enough is enough. So, here's the deal. Apparently, there has been a report or an article saying that an Ottawa um, animator of My Little Pony has been arrested for 60 thousand plus child porn images on his computer and this was a 55 year old a 55 year old man decided to have 60,000 plus child porn images and some videos on his computer because apparently he thought this was okay so basically he was one of the animators for My Little Pony um, now, there are some people that don't know what My Little Pony is. Okay. So, here's the deal. My Little Pony is either a 1980s or 1990s. Again, please correct me if I'm wrong on the dates. But the original was either a 1980s or a 1990s kids show. Um, it went from My Little Pony to My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. So, that franchise got revamped. Um... Basically, and ever since then, it's been having a, around eight seasons. And so, it's like, and the audience, the general audience, is um, eight-year-olds plus. But there are, but there are times where eight-year-olds and under will watch that show. It basically teaches about friendship values, like basic friendship values and whatever, um, seems pretty innocent, doesn't it? And, ironically enough, this very kid show has a very huge fan base. Um, so, seems pretty innocent enough, right? Well, unfortunately, this little kid show got tainted because one of the animators got caught with child porn on his computer. So, here's the deal. Mainly... It's very sad and very sick. Um, again, this was in Ottawa, Canada, I believe. It's a, it did say Ottawa, so more than likely it's Ottawa, Canada. So, basically, this person thought it was okay to have ki child porn on his computer while doing, while ironically enough, doing animating an actual kid's show. This is sick. This is disturbing. This is not okay. This is not cool at all. Um, pedophiles need to be locked up permanently. I don't care. Now, there are going to be extreme fans of the My Little Pony fandom are going to say, Oh, it's totally okay. It's not the same thing as acting out in the same, acting out in sad behavior. Okay, for those My Little Pony extremists, you need to understand something. Just because you are not engaging in said act of child pornography and producing it, you're just as guilty as looking upon it as you are engaging in said act. Basically, when you look upon child pornography, you are saying it is totally fine and totally okay for that child to be in danger in that way. That's basically what you're saying. That's what pedophiles want. They want the official green light, the official okay to hurt kids in a sexual manner just for their little for their sick pleasure. That's not good. That's not okay. That's disturbing and that is sick. Basically, when you read the article, which will be linked in the description and you can read it yourself. Um they are apparently this sick person decided to blame quote unquote medical issues like like depression or stress from work and he relieves says stress and 
depression from whatever by child porn. My response to that is that is complete and utter bullcrap. People go through stress and depression all the time, but they do not use child porn or porn to relieve said stress. If they do, they are just as sick. People listen to soft music. They go to uh, pet adoption agencies to go pet animals. They have hobbies to relieve said stress. That's a normal way of relieving stress. Child porn is not, much less looking at porn, but that's just me. But seriously, child porn is not a normal way to relieve stress or depression. That's just an excuse from the pedophile. So basically, I'm just going to say, unfortunately, I know that every single fandom community, whether it be anime, video games, whatever... Every single community has a 1% of those bad apples. Basically, we need to start saying, you know what, if you're a pedophile, I'm turning your butt in. Because that is not okay. Yeah, we can report people at conventions, and we can report on to online sites, the mods, the admins, and whatever. But, in all honesty... Pedophiles need to be locked up in jail for life and never see the light of day, much less another child. Because being a pedophile is not okay. It never has been okay and never will be okay. A pedophile is a pedophile. Anyone that defends a pedophile is either a pedophile themselves or is basically just as guilt, basically looks upon child porn themselves. Or they are just as delusional. In denial and delusional because they have no morals whatsoever. Okay, you can volunteer at a homeless shelter all you want. You can volunteer at an adoption agency for animals all you want. But if you look upon child porn, you're a pedophile. If you defend said person, um, doesn't matter whether they have a huge title or whether it's just a regular person, if you defend that person for looking up on child porn, you are just as guilty. I. It doesn't matter what society says. Being a pedophile is not okay. It never has and never will be. It does not matter what other people say. What's wrong is wrong. Putting kids in that type of danger is wrong. It's going to be wrong. It doesn't matter. And... The communities need to really just take note that Deal. tells me that people are not taking this seriously, and that's not good. And that's sick. To me, that is sick. It doesn't matter. Pedophiles should not be able to have that type of leniency. Pedophiles should not have that type of slap on the wrist. They really shouldn't. Because a pedophile is a pedophile, no ifs, ands, or buts. You can be the most awesome person in the world, but if you look up on child porn, and if you engage in it, guess what? You're pretty much, no, you're sick. You are, what I mean by sick, I'm talking about you are disturbingly sick. I'm not talking about health sick. I'm talking about mentally ill, disturbed, a disturbed individual. That's what I mean. So, it's like, you know, I get tired of people defending pedophiles when they, when they and the pedophiles themselves know it is not okay. I mean, seriously, these kids don't know any better. These kids don't know what sex is. They don't know, they don't need to know what sex is. The only time a 12 or a 13 year old would know about sex is if the parents had that talk with them. Other than that, uh, 13, 14, whatever, if they haven't had that talk yet with their parents, they don't know what sex is either. Kids are not going to care about sexuality. All they want, all they care about is their, is their favorite show coming on, okay? Kids at that age do not, at the eight, at the ages of eight, nine, even younger than that, 
those kids don't need to know about sexuality. They don't know. They don't need to know about sex. They're too. They're kids. Let them be kids. Okay. We do not need pedophiles to influence kid shows. Okay. They do. We do not need pedophiles to influence kids. Period. And that's basically what it is. The fact that that company and that industry is willing to have a pedophile to animate a kid's show, ironically enough, is sick and disturbing. So, basically, and for those that say, oh, I don't want to get involved because I don't want to ruin somebody's life. Here's my response. Pedophiles don't have a life. If they do have a life, it's a very sick and disturbing life. And pedophiles need to be locked up and never to have any type of life ever again. Let them have that hanging over their head for the rest of their pathetic days. Pedophiles do not need to be running around, okay? They just don't. And you know what? The extremists can lash out at me. They can call me every name in the book. I don't care. Facts are facts. The truth is the truth. If you don't like it, deal with it. Put up or shut up. Because let me tell you something. The kids are kids. They don't know any better. We need to allow them to be kids. They don't care what... It's like... Dude, a little boy is going to look at a bunch of ponies and say, Ew, that's for girls. That's normal. Okay? That is normal for an 8-year-old. That's nothing new. Okay? What is not normal is forcing a kid, grooming a kid, having sex with an 8-year-old. Or younger, for that matter. That's not cool. That's not okay. It never has and never will be okay. It is disgusting and it's sick. So for the communities, especially the My Little Pony community... You need to find a way to address this permanently because it's bad enough that you are having the reputation of having, of your 1% being pedof- having pedophiles. Now, I know 99% of you My Little Pony fans in that fandom are okay. I know a majority of you are perfectly fine and whatever. I'm not doing, I'm not saying that. What I am saying is you need to, you need to find ways to root out the 1%. That's all I'm saying. Because it's bad enough that these kids were in, put in harm's way. So, anyway. Thank you for listening. Um, again, this will be the only... This will be the only serious video. Um, so... Being a pedophile is not okay, never has been, and never will be. And I pray to God that those kids that were in those pictures get true justice. Because it is wrong and it's sad. Those kids are now going to be scarred. Anyway, thank you for listening. This will be the only serious video that I'm ever going to do. My name is Cat Love. Cosplay Cat Lover from Twitter, Kitty Angel from Cosplay.com, and Neko Indra from YouTube. May God bless every. May God bless the fans and the geeks. May, may you have a great day. Happy cosplaying. And. Uh, and be, be sure that you call out the one, the 1%, because it needs to stop, and it needs to stop now. The 1% is the very ones that makes the communities worse than what it really needs to be. Alright, um, happy cosplaying. May God bless you and have a good day. This is Cosplay Cat Lover from Twitter, Kitty Angel from Cosplay.com, and Neko Andrew from YouTube. May God bless you and have a good day and happy cosplaying.